All right, so in this video, we're going to look at um, decisions that you need to make when you're going to use size to represent a quantity. So we're specifically going to look at proportional symbol and uh, graduated symbol uh, type maps. Um, another option would be a cartogram. We're not going to look at that. And I guess as a, as a final note, this would not be appropriate for um, categorical type data. So uh, this would only really apply to, to quantities. Okay, so I have some data here. This is the state of West Virginia with all the counties. And in this table I've summarized, I have um, the percent forest cover by county, and I also have the acreage of forest by county. So remember with when you're using size, you don't have to normalize the data. So for this one, we'll work specifically with just the straight acreage as opposed to the percentage. Okay, so to change to a size-based symbology, we need to go to symbology, and then in this drop-down, we want to select one of the size-based me uh, measures. So uh, we have proportional symbol or graduated symbol. So I'm going to start off with proportional symbol. So we'll turn that on. Um, by default, it's going to pick the first like numeric field. Um, so we're going to change that to something else. So I'm going to grab this forest acreage field instead. And you can see that it creates a size ramp that's scaled continuously. So it's not binning the data, right? Um, okay, so let's uh, make some changes to this. So first off, we're not going to normalize. We don't need to worry about that. Um, you can specify units. Um, if you know them. Um, so I believe if you, we don't really have units here that are, in, this is length units, but if you do that, you should, oh, that's actually gonna change it to represent real world units. Let's get rid of that. I guess you can't change that. Um, okay, so, so anyway, we have our symbology. We don't have any units, and then we can pick a size range, right? So, um, for example, now it's going from a point size of 4 to 90. If we thought that range is maybe a little too broad, we can maybe change it. So I'm just going to do 50 instead. 50. So again, that takes a little bit of playing with, but you can you know, obviously change the lowest and highest percentages. Um, you can also change the symbol. So right now we've got this like purple uh, symbol. So I'm going to change that to we'll just use like uh, like a green collar instead since we're dealing with forest um, you should all you can also change the outline so for example we could uh, we could use the same collar there or just not have an outline if we wanted um, okay, so that's the symbol. Oop, let me go back to the symbology. You can also pick a background. So now it's basically symbolizing these uh, polygons without any fill, and it's got the proportional symbol there and then a very light outline. So if we go in here, we could change that. So we could um, maybe use a, we'll just set a solid color um, and make it maybe like a light gray. And now it's filled there, and maybe we need to darken this now a bit since for contrast there. So we'll pull that up and maybe bump it up to one, make it a little bit bigger, and maybe I'm just gonna drop this gray down slightly. Generally, you wanna use a fairly uh, you know, light color for the background here, because you want the point symbols to be obvious. Okay, so that's that. Um, if we go, let's go back to symbology here. Um, you can also make changes um, to uh, the display. Should allow you, here's the histogram, so you see the distribution classes. So this is the label, so remember this is continuous, so um, you're just going to pick like some reference sizes. So by default, it's five. You can change that. You can also exclude values, deal with null values. Um, so in short, the main decisions that we have to make there um, are what field we're going to symbolize, the size ranges, the symbol to use for the, the dot, and then the background symbol for the aerial feature. 
um, depending on what features you're using, you can also set uh, an appearance compensation, but that's turned off in this case. Um, okay, so that's that. Um, if we want to use graduated symbol, so let's move to that. Then this is fairly similar, but now instead of having a continuous ramp, we actually have a classification. So this is actually pretty similar to if you're using collars. So um, again, you'd have to pick a method, a classification method, a number of breaks, again, your, your size distribution range, a symbol, and then a background symbol. Um, so let's just create something really quickly. So we'll, again, we'll do forest acreage, and we don't need to normalize. And then let's just do uh, let's just do, let, let's do uh, defined interval and it looks well actually I'm not really sure how to define that since it's kind of a weird distribution so uh, let's just do equal interval for the heck of it and then we'll change our symbol here so um, no you don't have to use circles let me uh, find the symbol here. So you can see the different symbols. Um, I'm just going to use, let's just use a square um, just to do something different. Again, you can let's set a, a collar. And maybe I'm going to slighten the outline of it a bit. So there's our symbol. And then let's go back to our gallery. Or, sorry, not gallery. I'm going to go back to here and then we could adjust the size distribution a little so maybe we'll bump it up to like let's do 32 let's see what that looks like um, and then our background symbol so again maybe we'll just use like a very light gray um, this is for the stroke um, bump it up a little and then we'll make this lighter like that there you go um, now note in this ramp, this is going to be similar to a classified like core plef ramp. So if we go back to here, we can change the labels. You, know, you might want to add units or something, or at least round the numbers off to make them a little bit cleaner. Okay, so that's an example of decisions that you got to make when you're designing a graduated uh, symbol or proportional symbol map, or you're using size to represent a quantity.